Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me Nihai Hobo where last time we started to launch everything was going okay and uh, I'd lost track of where we were in our old solid um, rocket stages and uh, I hit an emergency eject and blew everything up and killed everybody. So today we are just going to go and hit uh, the SAS, we're going to throttle up. This launch is going to be for... Jaden Hardtruck, FF Foo. I hope I pronounced this right. Ralph, uh, R A L I E F, nineteen ninety-five. Sup, bro, and the Kiddle, and that actually takes us up to subscriber two hundred and forty-nine. So next episode, uh, we will be starting with the two hundred and fiftieth sub. Uh, so. Make sure you come back for that one. Find out if that was you. So, without further ado, um, as I say, dedicated launch. Again, I apologise if I've mispronounced anything. Pop in the comments below if I have, and I will make a formal public apology. And uh, the countdown begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. And off we go. Oh, hold on! It's burning all the uh, it's burning all the tanks out at once. That's why I was so confused with the rest of it. Right? Okay, we just need to quickly adjust that then. Have I back to the VAB? That must have been when I picked it up and and dropped it again. Um, damn you, goddamn damn thing. So it was that one, and uh, in fact, actually, we'll move all of these up and out. But we're going to come back with... Where the hell did they just go? Six. Oh, there you are. You. And your counterpart over here. Um, you. Excellent. And then next up, this stage of ignition here. Oh, uh, so then that's the jettison stage. That's the first jettison to get rid of the solid tanks. Then that's the jettison to get rid of uh, the outer stage. So that's stage 16 for this one. Sorry, I'm not sure why. The um, the computer jumped uh, out to Windows there. Um, so I was just seeing. Just going to quickly bring up the marker to make sure I am still recording. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, for some reason, the game flipped out to Windows, uh, but we are back again. Uh, so, we were saying that this stage here, this rocket, that one, that wants to go to stage 16, along with its counterpart. Um, stage 16, and then stage 15 would be your release. Yep, that's correct. And then... That is the jettison there. So 16, release, release the stage, um, which is where you two then go and live in stage 14. I think that's correct. So all we've done is change the staging. Um, so it's not worth giving it a new uh, title. So we'll go back to the launch pad and we'll give this another crack. <clears throat> okay, so again with the, just waiting for the physics engine to catch up with us. Um, we're gonna put the SS on, gonna throttle up, and in five, four, Three, two, one, lift off. So there we go. That, that looks a little bit more like it now. Still a bit slow, still a bit wobbly, but um, she'll serve as well. Okay, immediately on with a little bit of a roll. And I'm listening out to lose these first rockets. Okay, which means that is the queue that we have now started down these final tanks. Uh, 
And that's that stage with the solid fuel, excellent. So this is it, this is the second stage of uh, solid fuel that's going to be taking us up there now. Again, we're rolling to the left and we're rolling early because we've got to beat the retrograde. We've got to find an extra 178 meters per second. Okay, that's the next stage away. So now we're waiting to come through to this last stage of tanks here. Let's roll into it a little bit more. See if we're starting to beat this now. Starting to close it, but um, we're not beating it. Not yet. It's going to cost us extra fuel here, but it will eventually save us uh, fuel in the long run. Uh, you always want to be travelling retrograde when you're trying to go to the sun, and you want to be travelling prograde when you're trying to leave the sun. Uh, it's the best way to keep your fuel consumption down. I have that on good authority, better authority than I could ever give you. So there you go, now that we've lost some of these parts, we're now starting to uh, the frame rate starting to improve certainly and that's it we've started to uh, open up a little bit now in the right direction though we have burnt a shitload of fuel and made very little impact into uh, the uh, into our, our orbital plane So I think we're going to keep, carry on going vertical for a little bit longer. Um, and try and get out of the atmosphere before we start trying to increase our uh, horizontal speed. Where there should be a bit less resistance. But certainly you know, this has given us a bit of a starting point anyway. But it is a lot more difficult to start a, um, a retrograde orbit than it is a prograde orbit because of course um, the, the difference is over 300 meters per second that you've got to find which you know considering we're only traveling 500 meters per second is quite a lot I'm sure you'll agree so here we go here's the torque spin coming in this is actually probably going to be due to um, the uneven symmetry of having these uh, feeding fuel pipes though it's not unmanageable at the moment so we can uh, we can carry on with that. Just wait for this atmosphere to thin out. In fact, actually, we'll probably put all of this fuel into this stage, and then we'll start flipping over for our uh, orbit burn. So we'll get rid of those. Oh, and we'll cut the engines just for a second. And we'll get this. Try and get this roll back under control. In fact, our main and pretty much only concern at this moment in time is getting flat. Right, so how are we looking here? In fact, actually, we could actually start picking up the pace. Oops. Picking up the pace a little bit now. And let's uh, let's get this speed up. So it's slowly growing the apoapsis. Again, we want uh, an apoapsis of about um, about a, a hundred uh, hundred kilometres. Um, though, as I said last time, we we averaged a, a, a orbit of about 125. It was 100 on one side and uh, 150 kilometres on the other. So that's uh, averaged out at about 125, and we got there. Uh, 
so I'm not overly worried if we're slightly above or below I am just concerned that we get into an orbit that's all we want to do to start with it's not asking a huge amount it's what we are here to do it's what this rocket was built for so the progression is painfully slow but I think we, I don't think we're in any trouble at this point ah <laughs> he says whether or not this engine's got enough thump to get us into an orbit here is uh it's another question. So maybe little engine still isn't enough. What's decoupling next? What's that? I don't want you there. Way up here. So I'm going to have to add the um, atomic engines to this as well because we are losing height far too quickly. And we're not gaining speed quick enough. And we're on the far side of the apoapsis now, so it is, it is solely a race against time. Is growing. The question is, is it growing quick enough? I mean, we are losing height at about 100 meters, uh, about 70 meters a second, I'd say, even though we are pointed to the skies. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can get again. Let's point ourselves a bit, a bit more towards the horizon. The idea behind an orbit, you want to be falling, you want to be travelling forwards at such a rate that you are falling towards the, the surface as fast as it is falling away from you. That's how an orbit works. Um, I did sort of mention that in, in another video, but just for those of you who are new and uh, welcome, of course. So one, two, three. Okay, that's I'm not too concerned about that. So there we go. It was a painfully thirsty uh, mission to orbit. We did it, but it's turned out to be very, very costly. Um, so I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. We can't leave with any sort of uh, major speed uh, over this. But of course, the further out we get, the easier that becomes. So again, I'm going to uh, go ahead and end that episode here. Um, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Next time, we'll be starting our interplanetary stage. And at that point, I will be doing the maths. In fact, actually, I forgot to check that the planets line up <laughs> like an idiot. Uh, so we'll be doing, yeah, we'll be doing the maths that you need to know if you're going to attempt this yourself at home. Uh, so I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. My name is Nihai Hobo and I will see you next time. Goodbye.